Hey everyone, we're down here in Mississippi on Lake Enid in Sardis. We're fishing. We're down here with my buddy Tim Howe, Long Branch Guide Service. We got Hank's Barbecue down here. We're down here on a, a nice cabin resort. We're cooking some awesome barbecue, playing some bean bags, catching a bunch of big crappie and having a good time. We got a cool video for you coming guys. Stay tuned. I want to thank you, Hank, for coming thank out and you. cooking for us, man. Coming down, I know you're going to fish with Tim. Right. Uh, we got a good group of guys. We got guys from Texas, Arkansas. I'm from Tennessee, my buddy Blake. All these guys came to help. Ricky and Tim Howe's guide service, and, and we're having a good time. And thanks for coming out and cooking. And tell us about you and what you do in your restaurant and in your barbecuing. Well, we've been, uh, I've been doing competition cooking since 96 cook under the name of Hank's Championship Barbecue. Been in the restaurant business now for about 16 years. Traveled all over the country. We've won a few contests along the way. We've got some nice accolades, but uh, you know, it's something we really love to do and enjoy it, but it, we also want to be competitive at it as well, just like with fishing. Oh yeah, and definitely. It's fun to, I mean, to come cook for a bunch of guys like us and drink beer and play bags right. and hang out and go fishing. And, and this is the fun side of what we get to do. Exactly. Then the competition gets serious, doesn't it? it? They get pretty serious, and then, you know, it's all about the money, and then more so about the winning, too. You I mean, you want the bragging rights, and the money's a nice oh, yeah. attribute to go with it. But getting to do this on this side of it's a lot of fun. We have a good time, feed you guys. Maybe we won't make you sick, or maybe we will and catch more fishing, y'all. But yeah, there anyway, we go. we'll make a competition of fishing tomorrow, too. Yeah, definitely. We're going to have fun. I appreciate you. Yes, Thanks sir. for coming out. Appreciate out. you, man. Good morning, everyone. We're down here in Mississippi on Lake Enid doing a summertime Mississippi trip. We've never really done that before. Got a bunch of guys down here. We got Hank's Barbecue. We got Long Branch Guide Service. Got a bunch of our friends. And we're, we're loading now, putting in, getting ready to try to beat the rain. Um, we weren't expecting rain. Nobody brought the rain gear, and we're going to get wet, and we may continue after that, but we're going to have a good day. All right, guys, I took over the camera uh, down here on Enid Lake in the summer. We're kind of skipping around. I got Shane with me, and we're skipping around boat to boat. We're here now with Jason Sandage, Sandage Guide Service, and we're going to get with them, see how they're doing it, picking up some fish, and uh, see if they'll give us any tips on how to catch these crappie down here on Enid. All right, I'm Jason Sandage with Sandage Guide Service. We're on Enid Lake. I got Jack, Captain Jack and Miss Suzanne and Mr. Johnny out here trying to capture a few slabs. Kind of honorary this morning. We need some sunshine, but we gonna get it. Just spider rigging minnows, double double hook minnow rigs. Catching these post spawn fish coming out, and they're migrating back towards the deeper water. With any luck, we'll get one here in a minute. Just a basic double hook um, with a bottom sinker, bottom bouncer. Um, I tie a loop on it. That way the hook's free. We hook our hook our baits bottom lip to the top lip, and the reason I like a, a small leader. Some use a bigger one, but when the fish comes up. He's gonna come up from the tail, you know, hitting it, and his mouth's gonna hit, you know, at the at the line, and, and it just doesn't let it get, you know, just too deep, you know. Just pretty simple. Today we're using the 16-foot ACC trolling rods. Um, 
we like the the longer the better for me i like getting as far away from the boat as i can um, as far as tackle we're going with um grenada lake tackle company tube heads and just and then just a plain eagle claw two alt hook um one ounce bank sinkers on the bottom and just live minnows you know we use jigs a lot in the springtime but when they come out in the summer i i think meat on a hook is the way to go you can you can find us on facebook under sandage guide service um we guide north mississippi lakes um from the about the 10th of february to the first of november every year um, i can be reached at 573-624-0250 Get him. Little guy. He's not quite the three pound. But he did read the script. All right, guys, we're moving boats now. We fished with Jason Sandage for a little bit. Uh, now we've moved over here with Ricky Bridges of Ricky Bridges Guide Service. We're gonna get over here with him, uh, see how he puts his clients on fish down here, and see what tips he might have for us on catching these fish down here in Mississippi. So let's get over here with Ricky and see how it's going. Hi, I'm Ricky Bridges. Uh, we're down here fishing on Enid Lake. That's one of the big four. I'm a guide. I own uh, Ricky Bridges Crappie Guide Service. Today, we're using our ACC crappie sticks. Burning them up. We're, uh, we're power trolling six out the front, and we're long lining five or six rods out the back. Normally have six out the back, but I got one that's got some issues, so I gotta get it fixed up. We've uh, we've caught several shorts so far, and we've got two or three keepers. Uh, they have to be, at the end of the day, they have to be over 12 inches long, so we've measured them pretty close. We would like a little bit of sunshine this morning, but it sure is pleasant out here. Like I said, today we're using ACC crappie sticks. Uh, we've got 16 foot rods out the front. We have two ounce weights with quarter ounce jigs. We got one quarter ounce jig above the weight, one quarter ounce jig below it. We use the 16 footers off the front because it gets them further away from the boat and it, and the, it tends not to spook the fish as bad. Uh, off the back, we've got some 16 foot, we've got some 12 foots and some six Foot. We use them different lengths because they'll stay separated in the water column and they won't get tangled up quite as bad. You can find me uh, on Facebook, uh, Instagram, uh, Ricky Bridges Crappie Guide Service, or my cell number is either 662-902-0705. Just give us a call. We'll go over the details with you, and we'll 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 uh, we'll get you set up.
All right, we're out here with uh, our buddy uh, Tim Howe, Long Branch Guide Service. And I'm watching this big fish get ready to hit one of these baits is why I'm not, not looking at you. But um, we've never done one down here in the summertime. It's always spring when the wind's blowing 20 miles an hour. Um, and we're out here on a flat. Why are we on a flat today, Tim? These fish have moved up out of the channel and they're up here chasing shad on this shallow flat. Um, kind of post-spawn conditions, beat down and wore out after the spawn, so they're up here gorging themselves on shad, trying to fatten up and get their strength and stuff back. We've caught some that were definitely not skinny anymore. They, they look healthy again, so they're uh, ready to go. This is your favorite time of the year to guide, isn't it? Most certainly. It's the most consistent time of the year to, to catch these fish down here. The, the weather stable, the water stable, and the fishing stable. They're same place every day, aren't they? Pretty same much. Same depth. They're not, there's, there's not as many fronts moving them in and out. They're not trying to spawn. The wind doesn't blow 20 miles an hour every day, so it's a good time to come book a trip, isn't it? Most certainly, most certainly. Favorite time of the year. The weather's been been nice. We're got a little rain coming in today, but I think we'll be all right. We've caught some good ones today. This is a relaxing way to be productive, guys. You sit down, he does all the work, you just sit here and catch fish. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Today we're using uh, 16 foot ACC trolling rods. With a double minnow rig, one ounce weight on the bottom, with a Grenada Lake tackle, 32nd ounce tube head. As Blake catches a fish. Tim Howell, Long Branch Guide Service. Call us at 662-251-5625, Facebook or longbranchguides.com. Okay guys, we had a little rainstorm come through uh, this morning. We went and ate, come back out here. I'm in the boat now with my buddy Shane Johnson. Uh, he's just a really good fisherman down here in Mississippi. One of the best live scope fishermen I've ever been with. But not gonna lie, the fishing is very slow this afternoon. So I'm gonna talk to Shane a little bit, give you guys uh, kind of show you what his setup is and see how he's catching these fish down here in Mississippi. Hey, my name's Shane Johnson. We're out here on Enid Lake today. Uh, just after a rain, the, uh, the fish are just being um, Uncooperative, I guess, is the best way to say it. They just don't want to bite you and put it right on their nose and they act like they don't even see it. But we're out here trying to with a 16-foot ACC crappie stick rod. Uh, we've got a hair jig on at the time with a quarter ounce weight up above it, about 18 inches above it, and just pitching to them on the run, uh, just trying to run them down and, and uh, put it in front of them. But they, they just don't want to seem to bite. We're going to keep changing colors, we'll change colors, we'll change profiles and see if we can get them to bite. They did, that's crappie, ain't it? Yeah. I wonder why they're so finicky like that. Yeah, I mean you swim up there and hit it and swat at it. But what I'm saying, you know, like you're saying, I know which way the fish is going and say if I know he's going this way, sometimes I'll Get the boat going this way and head him off, you know what I'm saying? Lead him. That's what a lot of people don't understand. And, and say, if you're trying to fish, it, and I show you the fish right here, and then I take it off the picture, you think, well, why ain't he got it on the picture? Well, it's because I'm, I'm leading him, you know what I'm saying? Another thing I try to do is I keep this extra rod in the boat. This is a 6.6 ACC casting rod. When I'm vertical jigging, and I drop it down on the fish's head, and they just come up and nose at it and won't, won't react, I won't bite at it. Uh, I try all kinds of different jigs, different profiles, if they're still not biting. Sometimes I can use this casting rod and cast out to them and reel it by them, and all of a sudden it will 
cause a reaction bite. And sometimes that's what it takes to catch the fish. I mean, sometimes they just prefer something on the move like that. And that's why it's good to have the different rod in the boat with you. Well, I'm asked about how do you teach people to live scope. Uh, there's several different ways, but I think one of the biggest things is you just have to spend time on the water. Uh, I was self-taught, I didn't have anybody teach me, but if you're gonna do that, the thing to do is try to do it the right way. Ask somebody how to do it. Uh, well, if not what you find yourself doing, after you try and try and you're unsuccessful at it, you start developing bad habits. And it may be from keeping the fish in your sights on the, on the live scope, and then you can't keep the fish there, so then you start putting your bait in the, in the picture of the live scope, and you try to take your bait and hope a fish comes by. When you start doing that, you're just developing bad habits. And when you get like that, a lot of times you're getting mentally frustrated or fatigued. And it, it, when you catch yourself doing that, it's time just to stop. Call it a day, it just takes hours to to spend on the lake doing that, but when you find yourself trying to cut corners or, or cheat like that, it's best to quit. It's just kind of like whether you're shooting basketball or playing golf, when you start uh, making bad strokes or, or bad shots, it's time to quit. When you lose your form, it's time to quit, go back the next day and do it again. All right, folks, we're, we're back at base camp. We came back, Hank's Barbecue fed us again, prime rib, best baked potato salad we ever had, and um, wrapped up the 2023 Cornhole Championship. Kyle won that, so anyway. But um, we're wrapping it up. We caught some more fish today, had a great day, and we'll see you next time.